Hello, and thank you so much for taking the time out to listen. So this is one of those messages where it's just a simple wisdom message. We're not going to be getting into scripture, but it was something that the Lord put upon my spirit to just encourage someone who is tired. They're simply being, they're simply tired of being misunderstood. Okay. They attempt to talk to their family member, to their friend, to someone at work, and even to a stranger. And they get into these discussions. It might be about politics, religion, personal preference, relationships, business, parenting. And some of you all know the rest because you have various conversations with people. And then there's this track record of just being misunderstood. So you find yourself having to repeat what you say. You find yourself having to explain. You find yourself trying so very hard to give various resources, references, check this website, all of it. And yet people are still misunderstanding you. So you feel let down, you feel angry, you feel irritated, you feel like you don't want to talk to people, deal with people. You're even considering on changing your profession. Some of you all are considering on breaking up with some folks. Others, you have grown distant um, from sons and daughters because I'm tired of the arguing and I'm tired of telling them that I've been on this planet long enough to know and yet they think they know everything. This has been a common complaint. I've heard it offline from people who have said these things. Okay. So the misunderstandings, they increase and they create negativity. What to do about it? First and foremost, we're going to pray specific prayers about these misunderstandings. What exactly are we misunderstanding? Okay. What are you trying to convey yet? No one gets it. Ask the Lord to put you around people who do get it. For some of you all, it's been therapeutic to have your own YouTube channels. Some of you others, you take all of the misunderstanding and you put it in art. Others, you write screenplays, you write poems. Some of you all, this might be an inspiring message for you. God may be convicting you to do just that. For some of you all, it's not enough to talk to the therapist because the therapist doesn't even get you. You hate to even look at a therapist's face because they don't necessarily have a poker face where you go. <laughs> the circle that you sit with. And so misunderstandings have increased in volume. You're not feeling good and you're praying about this and you're seeking out circles that do get you. You may be creating some things that will bring about some peace of mind. The next thing you want to do is you want to spend more time in meditation. This has helped me also pulling away from the things that are causing the misunderstandings, the people, places, and things. I got to distance myself, reju rejuvenate, re-energize, sit quiet, do something else. This was something that even when I was younger, it was encouraged do something else. It's obvious that this is creating confusion for you. It's also stressing other members of the household out. I need you to take a break, to fall back, to do something else. But, but, but no sense in grinding away. It's only going to create more confusion, more frustration. Let's pull away. Let's regroup. Let's get back to square one. How do we even go down this rabbit hole to begin with? I'm tired of this rabbit hole right now. It's giving me lots of problems. It's dark. It's damp. It's depressing. Let's do something else. And so walking, exercising, running. Go into your favorite store, visit in your favorite person. Okay. Breathing. I'm breathing in the positivity. I'm exhaling the negativity. The thought is coming in my mind and I'm going to release the thought. I'm going to stop the thought. I acknowledged it. I know it's there, but I'm going to replace that thought with something positive. Something that makes me feel good. I'm asking the Lord to give me the direction in terms of what I need to do to stay out of these misunderstandings. Maybe that person's going through a spell of negativity. That's why we keep having the misunderstandings. All oh, before we got along, we got along, everything was great. But now, not so much. 
So I got to distance myself from that person. We're going low contact. We're going no contact. We're a strong believer of that. I don't care what the title is. Mother, father, sister, brother, cousin, auntie, uncle, grandmother, grandfather, you know. Mm -mm. We've had a falling out. You said something behind my back. I said something behind your back. We're not getting along. Okay. Friends go through this sort of thing. Sometimes it's a to your face. You said something to my face. I didn't like it. I said something to your face. I know you didn't like it. We need the distance. Okay. And as you're doing this sort of thing, Lord Jesus, there is this uplift. Oh, the weight is coming off because I'm not going to dwell in it any longer. I'm not going to keep talking to people about it. Those individuals who have a healthy mindset will say, okay, you got three minutes or you got five minutes or you got 10 minutes to vent, or maybe I'll give you an hour. Even I'm being generous today. I'm going to listen. I may ask you a few questions. There may be a bit of an interruption if you're talking really crazy and then that's it. Don't come to me no more with that. Well, why don't you want to, because it's not getting you anywhere to keep talking about it over and over and over again. Now you're becoming more and more evil and more bitter and more angry and more upsetting. You got to be willing to hear the truth for some, from uh, someone who's willing to give their ear. Don't go fighting with them because now you're going to get into a misunderstanding with them. And uh, your circle is getting smaller and smaller the more you talk about certain things. At some point, you got to realize that this isn't getting me anywhere. I'm losing friends. The demonic is, is showing up and showing out in my life. Okay. And so we're freeing ourselves of this thing. No more. And so as you're doing this, you're feeling better about yourself. You're giving yourself permission to vent, but at the same time, I am going to be in a healthy mindset using those affirmations. I choose to be in a healthy mindset today. I'm a functional, happy human being. I am enough. You see, find out affirmations based on what you're going through. There's plenty of people who have already written articles about this sort of thing, blogs, videos. They even have little exercises you can do. What is it that you are saying you are doing that keeps creating a misunderstanding? No, you're not responsible for that person's feelings and how they respond, react to you. But you are responsible for what you say and how you respond and how you react to someone else. So what exactly am I saying? What am I doing that's causing a necessary conflict? For me, it was too much talking to the children about certain things. And so I cut it off because I don't want to provoke my children to wrath. That's scripture. Even though I wasn't going to get into it, but that is scriptural, scripturally based that you don't want to provoke your children to anger. If they've even told you, you've already told me already, don't keep saying it. I know, I know you're venting mom. I know you're upset dad. I know you want to just throw somebody across the room, but don't, don't, don't. <sighs> I'm going to breathe. I know it's not that serious. It's really not that serious. I'm making it really serious. I'm seeing the future. I'm seeing everything that's ugly. They've got my anxiety, my stress, my worry up. Breathe. It's really not that serious. I know my son's going to be a success. I know he is smarter than what I think. <laughs> We've got to trust these kids. I know. But he, what if they ruined your trust? Well, they just ruined your trust. Okay. So that means that you just don't trust them. But I don't have to invent about it every single time they say something or do something that I don't like. Because now I'm disrupting my peace. And my peace will not be disrupted by somebody else's dramas and traumas hallelujah you see we listen but we're not going to allow it to get the best of us whatever it is but when you're tired of being misunderstood it may be time to have that dialogue that says i realize that we never get anywhere when we have certain conversations about and you can list them and so therefore i'm not going to have these conversations with you they may be offended about it or they may say, you know what? I agree. Let's shake on it. And then you're going to hold one another accountable for bringing up those discussions. Okay. I'm up. Oh, nope. Nope. Don't start. 
well, I was, nope, because you told me you don't want to get into, you know, what's on CNN, <laughs> what's on MSNBC, what's on Fox. You said it, okay? And at the time of this message, that's what's around as well as many others, but who knows in the future, all of them might be shut down because after a while, <laughs> government even gets tired of all of the misunderstandings and the misrepresentation and the misinterpretation of and the personal systems and processes and everything else because government can't control everybody and everything. They try, but they can't. So... Let's breathe, because I feel like somebody right now needs to breathe. It's time for a breath, right? Or two, or three, or many. So we're breathing out that negativity that showed up, that argument that showed up. We're breathing out, breathing out, breathing out, all of it. <sighs> breathing it all out, getting it out. We're emptying all of it. And we're going to breathe in the positivity, knowing that we are good enough, knowing that we are strong, knowing that that argument does not define who we are. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to your name. Picture yourself at your best. Picture yourself doing the thing that you've always wanted to do. Picture yourself far away from all of the responsibilities, the dramas and traumas, and you are on a plane somewhere, or you're on a bus, or you're on a boat, or you're in a car, but you're feeling good about yourself, and you've got your favorite music, and you have nothing to be concerned about. Nothing. Put it all in God's hands. The burdens, all of them. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. All of them. Somebody says money is a burden. Put it in God's hands. Somebody else says relationship is a burden. Put it in God's hand. Somebody says spiritual abuse and spirituality in general. Okay. But. Have you tried God? Jesus. Without men and women. Muddy in the waters. He says turn over your burden. Turn over your burden. Parenting is a burden. It's a chore. Give it over to the one true God. Shopping is a chore, a burden. Give it over to the one true God, both online and offline. <laughs> Paying bills is a burden. We give that over to the one true God. And somebody just remembered they got a bill that they need to pay. Hallelujah. So that won't become another burden. Because sometimes people take things off of auto pay. Mm hmm. <laughs> So, hallelujah, glory be to the one true God. God, he's just uplifting someone right now. He's uplifting you. He loves you. He wants what's best for you. He wants you to want what's best for you. God is showing you what's best for you. And that toxic relationship, toxic connection, toxic workplace is not what's best for you. He says, give it over to me. You say, well, what's going to happen if I do? Just give it over to him. He'll give you. He'll give you the right place, the right person, the right thing. It'll suddenly come upon you. It's not rocket science. Thank you, oh Heavenly Father, for what you're about to do in this listener's life. Thank you, oh Heavenly Father, for just uplifting them from all of the things that they've gone through. And may they continue to envision you in the spiritual realm with open arms willing to receive all of their burdens we ask these things in jesus name go in peace listener knowing that god has you in the palm of his hand check the description box for anything that is of interest you've been listening to youtube in enterprise 7 feel free to like subscribe comment we do welcome giving on this channel thank you in advance we also have a new faith podcast and it is over on spotify and hopefully will be on other platforms as well and it's called stillness gifts we're just getting started blessings to you